under the Natural Water Resources Master Plan to be one of the dams that can be a check to reduce flooding. Yes, it has not been built. When I came into office, I was informed about it, about the, the dancing house. I found out that some preliminary work had been done to initiate the process of concern after Kashimbila. Kashimbila purpose, the main purpose of Kashimbila is to check flooding. And even that idea was in case there is a dam break from Cameroon, that that would help. It's not really per se saying it's a, a flood issue, but it's helping to check flood, no doubt about it. So the next one that maybe previous administrations were looking at was Dasin Hausa. When I came, there was a consultant that was had been appointed by the previous administration to work on. I checked the terms of reference. I checked the scope of work that was given. I was not satisfied as a professional that justice will be done to that design, that we can have a robot design. Because one of the things I, I, I one of the problems I inherited, uh, distinguished senator, was that many of these dam projects were started with preliminary engineering designs, not detailed engineering design. And that's why you've been seeing so many RETCs. You cannot build a dam as important, as strategic as Dancing Hausa or River Benue without a detailed feasibility and engineering design. It was not there. There was some kind of rush to start that project, and I didn't accept it. So I, 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 I disengaged the consultants in 2016. That was after we had done the, it was one of the 116 projects that we had, because those 116, not the all the 116 projects that we had, with some of them, we canceled them because they are not viable. So we handed all them to the states. And the ones that we thought government, federal government should do, that's also the other we do. So I actually uh, disengaged the consultant. At that point, I, in our roadmap, we made a decision that going forward, we have enough dams, 37 or 38 dam projects ongoing that we cannot take any new dam. Let us try to complete what we have. But if there is a need for any new dam, let it be a dam that has hydropower potential or irrigation potential that we can do it on PPP basis. So, and that is where we are. And on that basis, sir, a company came uh, from China and uh, I forgot uh, even to mention to Senator Bima Gurara too, hydropower project, 360 megawatts. They now said they were interested in doing PPP on Dasi Hausa and Gurara too. So we signed an MOU with them in 2017. After a while, they came back to say that they were ready to proceed with Gurara too, but they cannot proceed with Dasi Hausa because they have done their initial assessment and financial model, and China Exim Bank is not ready to provide funding because it is not bankable. That means this project can only be done by the federal government and maybe from budgetary allocation. So I now requested that they should give us in, in writing that they had abandoned, because we signed an MOU, so let us cancel the MOU, which they did. And immediately after they did that, we advertised, or we, I think we did selective tendering under 2021 budget to appoint a consultant to do the required diligent feasibility studies and engineering design for the project. And that is in process now. As I'm talking to you, by March, we hope the consultant has said, by, has promised that by March he will conclude his work. But I'm not ready to stampede the consultant because this is a very, very important river. Benue is a big river. You cannot just say with preliminary engineering, oh, on a map, you sit down and you just have an idea of the cost. Many of these dams that we inherited, that we are, we are working on now, they were done with preliminary engineering designs. So by the time the contractor would go to site, they will now say the dam axis is not suitable. They have to change the dam axis, and you know so ref variations, variations would keep coming. We don't. That is not engineering, sir. We, that is not project management. We cannot accept that kind of situation. And I'm happy to say that also. Part of the effort to alleviate the problem of, of this, I, I've said before that the tributaries of River Benue are the main cause, and in this year, the rains have been unprecedented. In 2012, the reading at Lokoja and what we have today with today's flood, there is an additional 
or water level height uh, the call of, of over one foot, 38 centimeters. If you take 38 centimeters and calculate relative to the area, you can imagine the volume of water that is flowing into that confluence. So that was what happened. But most of the rain sir, was generated in Nigeria. It is not Lagoda. I'll still come back. I'll still come back. To, yes, I'll still come back to Lagoda. Now, what we are doing also to 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 uh, exploit or to develop the potentials of the River Benue, we have four or five proposals, proposed BOT projects. They are on. Feasibility studies are ongoing. Some have even reached the point of uh, outline business case for ICIC, and they are all BOT. Uh, we have potential for at least 1,000 megawatts, what we call Makodi 1, or Benue 1, and Benue 2, about 700 and something megawatts. The feasibility studies are ongoing. Benue 1, I think they even have an OBC. So they are trying to do the final business case now. We have a consult, uh, a, uh, somebody that is working on Katina Ala, 460 megawatts. Then we have other small hours, Manya, uh, Bawarku, 100, 180 megawatts or so on. So the process has started. Kashimbila already is also generating 40 megawatts. It's feeding into the national grid. So it's a continuous process. And SARS, you cannot build a dam. Building a dam is not like a classroom. You have to plan. It takes years of planning, years of data collection, and so on. And it requires adequate budgetary provision. All these 37 dam projects that were started, maybe if we had limited ourselves, the previous administrations concentrated on five or six. Finish them. Take another five or six. Because even the construction period, depending on the size of the dam, can take anything between three, five to ten years. It depends on the size, it depends on the location, it depends on so many things. There is no one fast rule to it. It is the feasibility and the engineering design that will determine the cost and the duration. So that is that. Now, on Lagoda, again, there have been insinuations that every year that the Cameroonians inform us when they are releasing the water. That is not true. That is not true. It took a lot of effort for us to get them to sign an MOU for them to be informing Nigeria about releases. And that was done when President Paul Bia came for a state visit in 2016. That was the time that, that they've been attempting since 2012 to sign that MOU. It wasn't done until this administration in 2016. We signed the MOU with Cameroonian authorities. But since then, believe me, every year, once the plug season comes, it is the Nigerian Hydrological Services Agency that calls them. What is your level in uh, Lagdo? What is your level? Even this one, they told us when he called them, when he saw that the rains were, I was communicating with the DG, NISA. I said, what's happening in Cameroon? He said he has been calling them. They said they have not released any water. But they said they, they were informed. They are the ones that should be keeping us informed on the basis of MOU. They didn't. Finally, they said, okay, that they will inform us tomorrow. They did inform us. They informed us 24 hours after they had released the water. They did the same thing two years ago. And we had to write, I wrote to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Nigeria had to write a protest letter to the Cameroonian authorities that they did not inform us. That was... It was after our rains had gone, then suddenly we saw flood in Adamawa area. And we realized, we were asking them for two weeks, they were denying that they had opened the, the, the reservoir. You know? And the, it, of course, it didn't go to the confluence. It was limited to the areas of uh, Adamawa State. That was, you know, and Taraba. Uh, because, like I said, the contribution to the flood by Lagodam is, is not so high. But of course, it's a contribution. But this is the true situation of things. So we're working. We are working, and some of the dam locations, sometimes they just say, hey, you build a dam here, you build a dam there. Yes, there are potential locations for dams, but at the end of the day, when you look at the cost of building the dam, not in terms of the capital cost of the construction, but in terms of resettlement and so on, you are better off not doing that dam. And the typical example is Onisha and Lokoja. There have been some, uh, you know, some some preliminary indication that these are locations that we can be, yes, they are dammable, you can build a dam there, but at what cost? If you build on Isha Dam, Lokoja is out of commission, completely. So you can't do it. So the science of dam construction is intricate is, and is delicate. And I think it's always better maybe to, to get the experts 
to, uh, to, to, to explain what these things are. But all these stories I've been seeing on uh, social media, I just laugh because they are misleading. In, in fact, even uh, Al Jazeera had a program they were talking, I, I was on Al Jazeera, I, although I didn't have time to, to speak, but I told them that, look, this is not the problem. We, we should, yes, we, I would blame Cameroon to the extent that they are not uh, pursuing the MOU, they don't give us information on time. But this, this floods, this year's flood, I, I, I can assure you, uh, it's, 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 we cannot blame it on Cameroon, to be sincere. No, we can blame them for not for violating the terms of the, of the MOU. They need to be cooperating with us. We are already together under the Hospital Lake Chad Basin Commission. We are all with them. We have, we have, we have signed the charter on Niger Basin Authority and their members. And they ought to be uh, 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 implementing the things that they need to do. So what we have done, what we are going to do this year, we have already started discussing. We are going to review. We are going to call for a review of the MOU. We needed to have more bite. Uh, uh, so that at least a, 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 an agreement is an agreement. They must abide by the agreement. But uh, whether we're able to do Tsudasi Hausa or not, uh, we'll continue to have floods on the river Niger's and Benue basins until all those tributaries, even when they adapt, there will be because the other component that I've not mentioned is that for hundreds of years, we have been deforesting our land. We've been degrading our land. And what has been happening is that when the rains come, they carry a lot of sediment into the rivers, and most of our rivers rivers are already set, silted up. And so the carrying capacity of the rivers has been reduced. So when we have unprecedented rains, the tendency is for the water to spill. Because the water, the water must find is that it must spill over the banks of the rivers. And please, please, people should not start talking about desilting the rivers. Because I can assure you that our budget for the next 100 years we we'll know, uh, you know, but what we need, I, I want to say also one more thing. Let me interrupt you here. You see, uh, in watershed management, we need to plant trees. And that's, as you say, that's where state governments and local governments also come. We need to, we need to regenerate our watersheds. And uh, the other thing is, we, we are working now, I, I think one time you came with the Senate leader to my office, we or the, because the major drainage system in Rivers Niger and Benue, we are working, trying to get funding to do a master plan for Rivers Niger and Benue. Once that is done and subsequent administrations are committed, there are some engineering interventions they can do on Rivers Niger and Benue, what we call river training. These things have to be studied. There has to be a comprehensive study and design for that. The study and design alone will take nothing less than three years. We have been trying to get funding. It's going to cost at least 50 million euros to do that study, which we cannot fund from our budget. But we are still discussing with the Ministry of Finance to find a way to do that. And I hope that with what we have seen now, this will accelerate the process. But already now, I think it has reached a point where final negotiations are going on with the financiers of that study. And after that, uh, by our estimate, the first stage of the work might require as much as 14 billion US dollars to, 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 to really uh, uh, address, the, improve the navigation of the river Niger, improve the channels, and so on and so forth. This is the same thing that we're also trying to do on River Chari uh, to improve flow into, into, into Lake Chad. But like I said, the most important thing, we need to go back to our watershed management. And your excellencies, uh, distinguished senators, one of the key components of the water bill is to bring in catchment, I mean, to bring to democratize this process of water resources management so that people in the catchment will take ownership of the catchment. And all these things, this watershed management will be part of the things that catchment management committees will be dealing with so that they can protect the watershed and the, and, 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 and the water courses in the country. These are the, some of the things that will be, it's part of the concept of integrated river basin management. Until we do that, we get our integrated river basin management correct and not pay leave service to it. We are going to continue to have this problem. This is not blackmail. I'm not blackmailing anybody about the about the. Yeah, the, 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 the